Hello Year 2, I hope everyone's had a nice weekend and that you're all doing well. The Year 2 team are so impressed with the amazing work that you're sending in, so keep it up. Welcome to Monday's maths video. We are going to be moving on to division. So we're going to warm up together. Our first task is to count in twos. So doing it along with me on the screen, off you go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. 82, 84, 86, 88, 90. 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. Well done everybody, I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job already. Right, let's continue our warm up. We are going to be counting in fives. So saying it to the screen along with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Great work everybody. Now we are going to carry on warming up our maths brains by counting in tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done everybody. Fantastic job so far. Right, so we've got a second part to this warm up. Right, we would like you to collect 20 items. Can you share the items between five equal groups? Now, these items could be anything, just as long as you've got lots of it. It could be straws, could be some pasta, counters, Lego or pegs, whatever you have available to you at home. So collect 20 items, share these between five equal groups. Pop me on pause whilst you're doing this task. Okay, well done for doing that. So I have done the warm up with you. I'm going to play a video of me. Okay, so warm up number two, collect 20 items. Can you share the items between five equal groups? So first of all, I'm going to check that I've actually got 20 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great, I've got 20 items. And these are my five groups. Group one, two, three, four, and five. These 20 pegs are going to be shared between the five equal groups. Really think about that word equal. So they have got to have the same amount of pegs in each group. It can't be unfair. It's got to be the same. So I'm going to share these items between the groups one by one. So join me as I do this. Please excuse the sound of the rain on the roof. So one by one, I'm sharing my pegs between the groups. And you can see I'm really doing this logically. I'm working from one side to the next. So I make sure that this is fair and it's the same. Keep doing this until I've shared all of my items out. Great, so no more pegs left. So I've got my 20 pegs 
shared between five groups. Let's see how many pegs are in each of the groups. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you guessed it. One, two, three, four. So 20 items, so 20 pegs shared between five equal groups equals four pegs in each group. Well done, everybody. Right, I hope that was helpful. Well done for completing two really fantastic warm ups. So we're going to move on to the anchor task now. So, our learning attention today. I can share objects into equal groups. And the anchor task says, there are 30 children in Italy class. During PE, Miss Pickett groups the children into five equal teams. How many children are in each team? Right, so you've got 30 children and they are being grouped into five equal teams. So remember that word equal, it's got to be fair, it's got to be the same. How many children are in each team? Now go and give this a try, see how you're going to solve it. You might like to use some items and split them into different groups. Pop me on pause whilst you're doing this and I will see, see you when you're back. Well done everybody so far. So I am going to show you a video of one of the ways that you might have chosen to Right, so one way you could have solved this is by using manipulatives. Manipulatives are basically objects, just like the peg demonstration earlier, objects that we can put into different groups. So 30 children divided, split into five equal teams. Let's do this together. So I'm going to share my 30 pegs between five equal groups. But first of all, I've got to check I've got 30 pegs. So let's count them together. It's quite a lot of counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So these 30 pegs can act as the 30 children that Miss Picker is grouping into five equal teams. Now remember that word equal, it's got to be fair, it's got to be the same. So I'm going to equally share, split the 30 pegs between five different groups. So off we go. Remember, I'm going to do this one at a time. So I'm really concentrating. Oh, that one's not quite in. Here we go. I've still got some left, so I'm going to keep going. And there we are, no more pegs left. So I might just see, I might just split these up because you can see it's quite easy for the groups to cross over. There we are, that's a bit better. So now I'm going to see what is the answer? 30 shared between five. 30 split into five equal groups. Let's count the groups together. One, two, three, four, five, six items in group one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So, 
30 children in Italy class grouped into five equal teams. How many in each team? Well, from my PEG demonstration, we can see that 30 divided, split, shared between five different groups is six. Well done, everybody. Okay, I hope that was a useful model, a useful example for you. There are, of course, other ways that you might have solved this. So let me introduce you to a bar model. This here is a bar model. Now I've split my bar model into five equal parts. Let's count them together. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. And I put a cross through this one because that looks like part number six, but I only need five equal parts. And what I've done is I've counted out 30 little blue counters here, and they are all going to represent the 30 children in Italy class. So this method, it's quite similar to using items and splitting, sharing them between equal groups. But instead, this method can be drawn. You could do this on a piece of paper. So I'm going to model how you could solve the calculation using a bar model. So I'm going to drag each of the 30 counters into separate equal groups. So I've got 30 counters and we're going into five equal teams. So going just like I was earlier, I'm doing it one at a time. I'm taking my time to do this and I'm working in the same order. So at home, you might like to draw 30 little dots and cross out each dot as you add them into the groups. So I'm just going to keep doing this process. My groups look like they're starting to fill up a bit here. I find it quite helpful to lay them out in the same way. So it's quite a visual way of seeing if you've missed a group or not. And there we are. My 30 counters that are representing the 30 children in Italy class have been split, shared. They've been divided into one, two, three, four, five teams, but we need to check whether they're equal teams. Are the teams the same? Are they fair? Okay, let's count the different groups. Uh, let's count the items in the different groups. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That's it, just like we did in the demonstration with the pegs. Um, we can see that 30 split shared into five equal teams equals six. Now, I'd like you to consider, what do you think the number sentence might be? Now, I'm really challenging you here because I've not actually given you any information about which symbols you might need to include. So, pop me on pause, see if you can work out what the number sentence might be. Okay, well done if you've given that a go. So, our number sentence is, let me just find my pen. So, 30.
Now we know 30 is split, shared, grouped into equal teams. That symbol is division. 30 divided by five. 30 shared, split into five groups. 30 divided by five equals, how many did it equal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six in each group. So our 30 counters split, shared into five groups equals six. We're going to come onto this a bit more on the next flip. Well done for putting in such a fantastic effort. So let's look at some vocabulary words, some mathematical words. So we can see we're working on division. That is what we have just done in our anchor task. So look at this symbol here. This is the symbol for division. This symbol means divide. So let's look at the other words surrounding division. We have divide, divided by, divided into, share, which can also mean separate and split up, share equally, equal groups of. I remember I was talking about this word equal. Equal means fair, the same as each other. So division is where we have a whole things. It might be, for example, a bar of chocolate and we are sharing, we're splitting it equally. So the words that I really like to help me remember what division means are share and equal groups of. So going back to the anchor task, now we've got a bit more knowledge about what division is. We can see that 30 divided by five groups equaled six. So it might help to put that into a sentence. So 30 shared between five equal groups is six. And we're going to be matching some calculations and some number sentences together to really help us get a better understanding of division. Right, following that, let's try another one together. So one snowy day, Five children made 20 snowballs. They decide to share them between five equal groups. How many snowballs will each child have? So, right, really well done if you gave that a go and well done if you got the correct answer. So there's another way we can solve this. Remember that bar model I showed you? Well, I'm going to show you again. So this is our bar model, this is the bar. And these are the parts. These are the parts within the bar model. We've got one, two, three, four, five groups because we have five groups in our question. And I've crossed this group out because I don't need group number six. I just need five groups. So we've got 20 snowballs. I didn't have a white counter, but I've got some yellow ones. So here we can see we've got 20 snowballs. And I am going to pop each of the counters one by one. I'm going to share them, split them, divide them between five groups. So off I go. Again, I'm working really logically, taking my time, one at a time, working in the same order. So at home, like I said before, you might like to draw some shapes and then cross them out as you add them, as you share them between each of the groups. Almost finished. Okay, I've done it. So. 20 snowballs shared between five groups. We've got group one, two, three, four, five. How many snowballs are in each of the groups? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. So I wonder if you can think about what the number sentence might be. Pop me on pause whilst you talk to someone about this. Right, let's find out together. So we're starting with the biggest number. So we've got 20 snowballs here. So 20 divided by, remember this symbol, this division symbol, 20 shared split between how many groups? Five equal groups, so 20 shared between five equals one, two, three, four. So 20 snowballs shared between five groups equals four. So each child has four snowballs. Well done for keeping up, really fantastic work so far this morning. So I would like you to think about which number sentence is correct out of these two. We've got 20 divided by five equals four and five divided by 20 equals four. Which number sentence is correct and how do you know? Pop me on pause whilst you're doing this. Right, well done for giving that a try. Let's have a look at the answers. I'm going to move these to the side. So 20 shared between five equal groups is four. So it has to be 20 divided by five equals four. We cannot divide number five here by 20 because it's too small. It's very similar to subtraction. If you think about subtraction, we have to start with the biggest number and we take the smaller number away. We can't take five, we can't take 20 bananas away from a bunch of five. Same as division, we cannot split five into 20. It is too small of a number. So over to you. I would like you to choose a method and use it to solve these two questions. So very first, very first one, 20 divided by two, sorry, 24 divided by two equals. I've also put this as a sentence as well because it's such new language to us. So 24 shared between two equal groups. That's your first question. And your second question is 20 divided by 10 equals. So 20 shared between 10 equal groups is. So you might like to use some items. You might like to physically split the items, share them between the groups, or you might like to give the bar model a try. So pop me on pause whilst you're doing this. Right, really well done year two. Let's find out the answers together. So, I used a bar model to, you, uh, to solve these questions this time. So 24 divided by two equals 12. 24 shared between two equal groups is 12. So looking at my bar model here, I've got one group here and my second group here, two groups. And I split 24 counters into two groups. I shared them between two groups. So let's double check how many counters I've got in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got twelve in one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and twelve in another group. So that's correct. Twenty-four split in shared between two equal groups is 12. I've got 12 in this group and 12 in this group. So for the second question, 20 divided by shared between 10 equals two. So I've had, I started off with my 20 counters for my bar model and I made 10 groups, quite a few groups. Let's count the groups here. I've got one group, group two, group three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got 10 groups there. And I split my 20 counters between 10 of the groups. So how many counters are in each group? One, two. 
One, two, 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 one, two. So that's correct. I've got 20 counters shared between 10 groups equals two. I've got two counters in each of the groups. Really well done for giving that a try today. I'm sure you're doing such a great job. So I've got some more questions for you now. Over to you. Using a chosen method, so maybe using um, the items and splitting them into groups or using the bar model, solve the following division questions. So off you go. I'm pop me on pause whilst you're doing this. And I've left this little um, division prompt down at the bottom just to help you with that new vocabulary. Pop me on pause. Well done, everybody. So we've got the answers here. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. And 30 divided by 10 equals 3. Really fantastic work. We've also got a challenge up on the screen if you would like to do this. Well done everyone for such a great first lesson of the week. We look forward to seeing everything you've done via the year two email address. Take care and I'll see you soon.